Hesperornithiforms are flightless marine birds that lived during the late Cretaceous era, 70 to 80 million years ago. Their fossils were first discovered in Kansas in 1871, and later in Canada and Russia. The study of their unique skeletal structure continues to this day. The skeleton provides information about the bird's anatomy, diet, and habitat. Furthermore, it can provide clues to the specialized foot-propelled diving of these birds. Some of the key skeletal elements involved in swimming are the pelvis, the femur, the patella, the tibiotarsus, the fibula, and the tarsometatarsus. To propel itself forward, the bird's inner tarsal joints must flex and extend. The gastrocnemius, plantar flexes the feet. The tibialis cranialis dorsiflexes the feet. These combined actions propel the bird forward. However, this swimming posture is not effective as the large cross-sectional area of the limbs creates drag, reducing speed. To reduce drag, the position of the hind limbs needs to be adjusted. To achieve this, the iliofibularis pulls the tibiotarsis toward the body. The femorotibialis stabilizes the knee joint during the propulsion. The iliotibialis lateralis elevates the leg to align the foot with the body. This muscular synergy reduces drag by decreasing the cross-sectional area of the limbs and further acts to stabilize the hind limbs during the power stroke. Therefore, the combined action of the muscles and posture create the most efficient model for Hesperornithiform locomotion. Integrating this hypothesis with other Hesperornis research helps us to generate a more complete picture of life in the Cretaceous Ocean. <laughs>